Hey guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and I am super excited about today's video because we've invited a mystery YouTube family to choose our lunches for us. And the mystery family is... We are huge fans of their channel. In fact, this is the second collaboration that we've done with them. Back in December, I made lunches for them, and that video has almost a million views. I'll go ahead and pop up a card right here if you wanna go check out that video. And I'm also going to put a link to the Bingham's channel in the description box below. Definitely go check them out, you guys. Now, we actually got to meet the Bingham's a few months ago in California, and they are just as fun and sweet in person as they are in their videos, you are going to love them. And without further ado, let's get on to their lunches. This week, I'm kicking things off by making Hazel's lunch first. She is the youngest member of the Bingham family, and she recently turned four at an adorable lemonade-themed party. So for her lunch today, I got out my lemon napkins. But the actual theme for her lunch today is going to be all about circles. I'm going to put as many circle-shaped foods in here as I can. Starting with the main course, which is going to be a bagel sandwich. Now whenever I make a bagel sandwich, I really like to use this bagel thin bread. It definitely makes it a lot easier to eat, especially for kids. Now over on the Bingham's channel, they usually call Hazel by her nickname, which is Hazy. And so for Hazy's bagel sandwich, I'm gonna start by adding a thin layer of mayonnaise. Next, I'm adding a slice of American cheese, followed by a few slices of smoked turkey. So far, so good with this sandwich, but I need to add a few more circles. So on top of the turkey, I'm also gonna be adding a few slices of turkey pepperoni. Then lastly, I'm gonna to top it all off with a few squirts of mustard. Now honestly, I'm not quite sure if Hazel is a big fan of mustard or not, so I'm kinda of hoping that she is. I know with my kids, the only one that likes mustard is Lily. The rest of them are not big fans. So there we have our main course. It's time to move on to some fruits and veggies. For her fruit today, she requested kiwis, which is perfect because it's naturally round, right? But instead of using just regular kiwis, I went ahead and picked up these sun gold kiwis. My kids really like these. They're very similar to a regular kiwi, but the outside is a little bit more smooth. So to prepare these kiwis, I'm just going to slice off the ends, peel the skin off, and now I'm going to slice these into thick pieces. Now to go along with this circle themed lunch, I'm going to prepare some cucumber. Of course, these are perfect because they're already round, but instead of cutting this cucumber up the regular way, I thought it would be really fun to get out the waffle cutter. Now the trick of the waffle cutter is to constantly rotate the cucumber every time it passes through the blade. Of course, you have to be really careful with these things. They are very sharp, but as you're slicing and turning, turning, you're left with this really fun waffle shape. So now I almost have everything ready. It's time to get it into the lunch box. So first we have our bagel sandwich. I am gonna go ahead and add some little eye picks in there. I think this is so cute. The opening of the bagel really looks like a mouth. So he's kind of a surprise little bagel guy. In this back corner, I'm going to add the kiwi and I'm going to decorate them with a pink flag food pick. That's really hard to say. And in the front corner, the crisscross cucumbers. And it looks like I have just enough room to add a little container of ranch. And then in this back section, I'm going to add Hazel's snack. This is a baby bell cheese. I went ahead and picked up the one that is mozzarella. I wanna add in a special treat for this lunch, but I think Hazel would really enjoy some Whoppers in this lunch. Not only are they a candy that she enjoys, but they're also round, so they're perfect. And then lastly, for Hazy's drink today, she requested a mini water. So that's literally what I'm giving her, a water bottle with mini Mouse on the outside. Okay, Lily, what'd you think of the circle lunch? It was good. What was your favorite part? Uh, the candy. The candy, of course. 
but I also like the kiwi and the cucumbers. Next up, I'm going to prepare Ryler's lunch. Now, Ryler, or as they like to call him, Rye Guy, just had a birthday. And for his party, he had a really fun outdoor movie night with candy and popcorn. So as you can see, I've added some movie decorations. But you guys, the food that I'm actually putting in Ryler's lunch is going to be all about breakfast. So we kind of have a breakfast at the movies theme. For Ryler's main course, he requested waffles, which are such a great breakfast option. We love waffles around here. Instead of adding just regular waffles for his lunch, I've chosen these thick and fluffy Belgian style waffles. These are definitely fancier than your regular Eggo waffle would be. They really are a lot bigger, a lot fluffier. They put extra vanilla in there. They're really good. These come in several different flavors, including regular, blueberry, double chocolate, and cinnamon brown sugar. Now since Ryler is an older boy, I'm thinking he might appreciate to have two waffles. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the toaster oven for just a few minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Now before I add these into the lunchbox, I am gonna go ahead and cut them into sticks. And I will include a little container of syrup for dipping. The next breakfast item I'm going to be putting in Ryler's lunch is breakfast potatoes. Now there are actually a lot of different kinds of breakfast potatoes, but I decided to go with these little rounds. They're kind of like a tater tot, almost like the potatoes you might get at Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Now these cook really fast. I'm just going to spread them onto a baking sheet and pop them into the oven so they can get nice and crispy. Now usually with all of my lunches, I also pack a snack as well. And for Ryler's breakfast themed snack, he chose yogurt. So in this separate container, I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of vanilla yogurt right at the bottom. And then this container is really cool because it comes with a smaller section. This is perfect for adding things like fruit, or in my case, granola, right in here. This is a lemon blueberry flavored granola. I get this at Costco, it's really good. So this little section of granola can fit right inside with the yogurt, but it's kept separate that way it doesn't get all soggy. My next step is to prepare the fruit. For Rayler's lunch, he requested strawberries. So I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. I've just washed them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the stems and then I'm gonna simply slice them in half. So now I almost have everything ready for Ryler's lunchbox. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding it in here. Whoops. You know, the thing about these lunch boxes is unless they're weighted down, they tend to tip over. So in this large section, I'm going to add in all of our waffle sticks. And then in a separate small container, I have some maple syrup. Of course, I have a nice strong lid on there so the syrup doesn't go everywhere. And then I have just enough space to add the rest of the waffles. Now just for fun, I'm also gonna be adding a little movie pick in this back section, I'm going to fill it up with the crispy breakfast potatoes. These turned out so good. And I think I'll go ahead and add a little container of ketchup. Now over on the side, I'll add in these strawberries. And I went ahead and added just a few strawberries to this other movie-themed food pick. This one looks just like a theater ticket. And then in this back section, I will go ahead and add just a few veggies. I'm gonna be alternating some cucumber slices and some carrots. Now this is pretty much everything for Ryler's lunch. Of course, I do have that yogurt snack cup on the side. That's gonna go right here. I do still need to add in Ryler's drink. He requested orange juice, perfect for a breakfast themed lunch. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in just a little treat. Since this is a movie themed lunch after all, I think it would be really fun to add in just a few of these Sour Patch Kids candies. Our official taste tester for this lunch is Mackenzie. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was like the little hash brown thing, like the circle things. Yeah? Yeah, those are really good. Okay guys, so today's lunch is all about Crew, or Crewby as they like to call him, he is nine years old and he just had a beach themed party, so I'm going with beach theme as well. But for the food itself, these are all about favorites, all of Crew's favorite foods. For his main dish today, Crew chose pizza, which is awesome. I think if I asked my kids, their favorite food would probably be pizza too. 
crew requested this to be a cheese only pizza. And to make this pizza today, I have a special helper. Miss Lily is actually gonna be making the pizza herself. First, I'm gonna spread the pizza sauce all over the crust. Oh yes, and for our crust today, instead of using pizza dough, we're using flatbread. It's already cooked, so it makes pizza super fast. Super fast pizza is the best. Next, I'm gonna take some mozzarella cheese, and I'm gonna dump this whole container on top. I want to make sure every piece gets a lot of cheese. What's your favorite kind of pizza, Lily? Uh, I think pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah. Ooh. Good job, Lily. You're welcome. See you later. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the oven, and it's only going to take about three or four minutes, and it'll be done. So while that pizza is in the oven, I'm going to move on to the fruit. For Crew's lunch today, he requested watermelon. And then instead of cutting this into just regular chunks, I'm gonna use my melon baller to make lots of melon balls. This is actually really easy to do, and it definitely makes it look a lot more special. So now that our pizza is out of the oven, it is still nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up a few pieces to get them into the lunchbox. In this back container, I'm going to fill it all the way up with the watermelon balls. And to go along with our beach theme, I'm also gonna add a little umbrella food pick right into the watermelon. These little umbrellas are so fun, <laughs> my kids love them. In this back section, I'm going to add Crew's favorite vegetable, which is broccoli. And of course, you guys probably know I love to turn broccoli into a broccoli monster by adding little eye picks right in here. To go along with this broccoli, I'm adding a small container of ranch. And then in this very last section, I have just enough room for Crew's favorite snack. Can you guys tell what it is? If you guessed Cheez-Its, you'd be correct. Now that brings us to the drink. For Crew's favorite drink, I'm gonna be adding in some chocolate milk. And I actually have two different kinds to choose from, but I think I'll go with the Nesquik. And then last but not least, I have a surprise treat, the Gobstoppers. So I'm gonna take just a few and add them into this really cute shark snack container. It goes perfectly with our beach theme. Although you probably wouldn't really wanna see a shark if you were at the beach. Now with this lunch, the kids ended up sharing it. I did make that entire pizza so they all got to have some. What did you guys think? My favorite part was the watermelon. My favorite part was the chocolate milk and the watermelon. My favorite part was the chocolate milk, the pizza, and the watermelon. <laughs> Stop copying! What is wrong with it? <laughs> now last but not least, I'm going to be making Brexen's lunch. Brexen is six years old and at his last birthday party he had a lot of gold items. So in honor of Brexton's lunch, I got out all of my gold lunch things, which I don't actually have that many. But when it comes down to the food for Brexton's lunch, the theme is not actually gonna be gold. I'm not gonna be making any gold food today. Instead, his lunch is gonna be all about things that dip. If you stop and think about it, there are so many foods that go really well if you dip them. And I'm gonna be putting a lot of those foods in his lunch today. Starting with the main course. For this main course, I'm making chicken nuggets. But not just regular old chicken nuggets. I thought it'd be really fun to get the dino shaped ones. So I'm gonna add a few of these to my baking sheet and then pop them into the oven so they can get nice and crispy. Now while those are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the fruit. For Bruxland's lunch, he picked out apples. Of course, these are perfect for dipping into peanut butter, so I'll be adding that in as well. But of course, you can't dip an entire apple. It's better if you make apple slices, right? Now, normally, I would use my apple slicing tool. You know, it's like a little round thing, and you like push it down, and it removes the core and cuts the apple all at the same time. But unfortunately, since we moved, I haven't been able to find that apple cutter. I'm not sure what happened to it. So instead, I'll go ahead and just slice it by hand. And of course, anytime you wanna put apple slices in a lunch, it's a really good idea to sprinkle on a little bit of lemon juice mixed with water, just so the apple doesn't turn brown. For Brexton's vegetable today, he chose carrots. So I'm just gonna add in a few of these little baby carrots. To go along with the carrots, I'm also adding some ranch. 
So now that our chicken nuggets are ready, I can go ahead and put those into the lunch box. And we can't forget about the dip for those. Now there are so many different dips that go along with chicken nuggets, but for Brexton's lunch, he chose barbecue sauce. And so I'm actually gonna add in some of this local to Florida barbecue sauce that we just found. This is from the Four Rivers restaurant, and it is really good. Four Rivers is a very popular barbecue restaurant in Florida, I am told. And this barbecue sauce is actually really good because it's more sweet and it's not very spicy. Now in this back section of the lunchbox, I'm going to fill it up with our apple slices. These just fit perfectly in there. But what doesn't fit perfectly is the peanut butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the side. Next, I'm gonna add in those baby carrots with the ranch for dipping. And then for his special treat today, something a little bit different. Rexon requested cookies that can be dipped into frosting. And surprisingly, I was able to find two different choices. First up, I have an Oreo version. These are actually Oreo cookie sticks and you actually get to dip them in frosting, so that's really fun. Definitely goes with our dippable theme. And then I have another choice. I recently saw these at Walmart and they looked really interesting. These are made by Lunchables, of course, and they're called Dirt Cake. So they're very much like the Jello Dirt Cup that you might have seen before. I'll go ahead and open up this one so you can see what it looks like. Basically, it comes with some gummy worms, some chocolate frosting, and then in the last section, we have crushed up cookies. So even though this is a little bit different, I think it still counts as cookies that you can dip in frosting and gummy worms all together. And then to finish off Brexton's lunch, for his drink, he chose chocolate milk. For this lunch, Jackson was our official taste tester. What did you think, Jack? My favorite part was the chicken nuggets and the dirt cake. And the sauce for the chicken nuggets, it was really good. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below out of all of the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Now I wanna give a huge thanks to the Binghams for sending me their lunch ideas. You guys don't forget to go check out their channel. It will be linked down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.